Let me just start off by saying a huge thank you to the cast and crew behind Fear the Walking Dead's episode tonight, because the 13th episode, Blackjack, was the episode that I've been waiting for. It was a great continuation of the buildup that we got from last week. It's also a nice buildup for the remaining three episodes, but I think it's also, it did a really great job in, in dealing with hope and family and cooperation, and also I think did a great job in getting the band back together and really establishing Tanya Pink's mysterious woman as a big bad. But as I said, overall, I really liked the themes of hope that we saw. I'm gonna cover what I thought were the three distinct storylines, and I think you'll get a sense of what it is that I'm talking about. First, we had Luciana, and a new character was introduced, Clayton, uh, Stephen Henderson, who was introduced when the Fear the Walking Dead, this huge uh, casting influx that brought us um, Sarah, Wendell, and Jim, uh, and some other characters. But this really gave uh, Luciana a chance to shine uh, in this episode, so, which was really great to see, because that's been an underlying theme for a lot of my reviews for the fourth season, is that I was really waiting for Luciana to have something to do. And the, the idea that Denai Garcia could really get a chance to shine and start building off of this, and also that her character got a chance to really deal with some guilt and move forward, I thought was a really, really nice touch. And, and kind of a, not a, not to clean, clean slate, but really get her, I think, mentally moving forward in a really great direction. Second thing had to do with Victor and John Dory, who are stranded and who became a very interesting pair and an odd couple. And it, I, I loved it, though it was disheartening to see how much Strand was just annoyed with John Dory's hope and how things just started to fall apart. Now, I will say this. A lot of people were are seeing things as very, very bad for John Dory. The eating of the candy, the fact that he just really feel like he's given up hope. But I actually see it a little different. I see Victor and John Dory almost complementing each other very well, where I think Victor, just out of sheer frustration, really does want to kind of make things work against his, his better judgment. I think John Dory is starting to wear on him a little bit. But I think Victor Strand is also bringing... I think John Dory a little sense of reality to things, not trying to break down his will or anything, but this idea of like, you know, cynical optimism isn't so bad. Having hope with caution and understanding that things can go bad is not necessarily a bad thing also. So I think in the long run, as much as we may end this episode with things looking uh, bleak for John Dory, I think big picture, there are good things that are, that are still ahead for him. And you know, yes, he did eat the candy, but we know he's going to have something very nice when, when him and June get back together because, of course, they couldn't be cruel and deprive us of that. Um, the third has to do with Morgan and Tanya Pinkins' mysterious character. Now, when I say Morgan, I'm also talking Althea, I'm talking June, I'm talking Wendell, I'm talking Sarah, and I'm talking Jim. Um, but I'm saying them because we Morgan has his big bad. As much as we could say Rick had the governor and Rick had Negan, this is Morgan's big bad. Tanya Pinkett's character is like the anti-Morgan. Whatever she has been through, and it looks like next week we're going to be getting some backstory, uh, whatever she's been through, she just does not see buy into this concept of helping other people. And as we can see, she's also apparently a fast learner. But she got to learn how to use those guns in the truck very quickly. Now, the only thing I will say this, I'm curious to know how she was able to watch the tapes in the truck because I thought the battery was an issue. So I was hoping maybe maybe a solar battery, maybe something like that came into play, maybe she had some other stuff, but something to keep in mind. But this idea that essentially that she had the SWAT truck and it also gave her some backstory makes us thankful at least that Morgan didn't give Althea a lot of information because uh, she'd have even more to use against them. But I'm really concerned as much as Morgan is doing this stuff in the front uh, basically in her face and even pledging to help her that she's just going to up the ante a lot. We saw how the episode ended with the guns uh, even, and even though the trailer for next week kind of spoiled it a little bit as to the fact that everybody lives, there's three episodes left and there's 11 major characters we have here and I'm just going to say as The Walking Dead goes, 11 is a lot of main characters to carry along. I'm scared and concerned that our 11 may end up cutting down to Mike 7 by the time this is all over. But when all is said and done, Blackjack was a fantastic episode. I think it set us up for a very strong, intense three remaining episodes of the season and I'm really looking forward to it.